I'm Electric. Grid Smash! And welcome back. To Riverdale. Well, it's been a while. Mm-hmm. Well, that seems. Thank you guys so much for being patient as we're getting caught up on the first week, on our official week back of being, uh, caught up on Riverdale. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me. I sound weird. I just got my wisdom teeth pulled on Thursday. And that's why we've been taking a break. Yeah. A bit of a rock. So, trying to... I wanted to jump into it because I just wanted to watch it, but I know I sound weird, so bear with me. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is Riverdale. Season 2. Episode 10. The Blackboard Jungle. Clandestine meetings behind closed doors and the like. <laughs> yes, by and large. Living in a bordello with a woman of the night. Oh, it's not that different from when I was younger and I had my pick of gentlemen callers lining up every evening. Good. God, I wanted me to get a job, Cheryl, and I did. Providing comfort and companionship as a lonely man in the river now. She's a... Veronica, <laughs> you have this? Holy Holy shit! And I was fine. Soho. Dad, Mom, trust me. Yeah, I'll ask me. No, I'll get to the bottom of it. You just focus on school. Not many redheads in Riverdale, Arch. He's taking pictures. Avoiding that L word again. Holy hell. In. saw each other, they all got into a fight. Their re-election campaign. Yeah. Yeah. Mom? Or... Betty, how she... It's just me. Oh my god. Polly. Polly, oh, I was Polly. for you. What are you doing home? I just came to get a few things. Oh my god! What happened to the twins? <laughs> I had them, Betty. <gasps> Do they have names? Juniper and Dagwood. Oh my god. Polly, please, okay? Mom and Dad hurt you. I'm really sorry, Betty. But I gotta go. That's mine, by the way. The farm probably doesn't have electricity anyway. Wow. Just like that, huh? Juniper and Damn. Juniper and Dagwood. Interesting. Uh. Why is the FBI here? What's going on? Must take him down once and for all. Or me bonuses. Let's talk about that. Associates came to visit with his family, the St. Clairs. <gasps> They're going to invest in Hiram Sodale. Part of it. We don't know that. Not for sure. Maybe if you helped us, we could be more certain. Look, I know. Oh, she's right. You're not allowed to do that. Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> What's going on here? Truth be told, Nicholas had a gun. True. Check me out. Mayor McCoy is obviously hiding something about this South Side debacle. Polly. Oh, have you talked to her? I've been leaving messages. I want to make sure she has everything she needs and ask her what color she wants the nursery painted. Same. No, I was wondering if you'd heard from her. No, not in a while. Oh, she just walked through the door. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks for meeting with me. Yeah, no problem. I, I was gonna reach out and clear the air before Dr. Beaker awkwardly pairs us up in chemistry or something. Actually, I wanted to meet because I need help. She's also really sad. So maybe if she found her son, having him in our lives. Yeah. 
Oh, that's two nephews. That hurt. Wow. Suspicious! Is he okay? Well, you know, from all reports, he's... That was smooth, though, from the lodges. They just fucking... Mm, they're they're that so web. good at yeah, and lying. Like, <sighs> I actually know... Oh. Every one of you to drink deeply from the cup that is Fair Riverdale. Stand down, Eva Perone. Oh shit. Gerald, no one invited fascist Barbie to the party. <laughs> Go on, Veronica. No one invited Southside Scum to our school. Why don't you come over here and say that to my face? Probably, Queen of the Buskers. Okay, guys, everyone, can we just. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's got you got traitors in the wrong side. Christmas kisses five between you and Betty Cooper. Considering her allegiance. She's trying to blackmail him! Monica and I were broken up, Cheryl. And so we're and Betty. Anyway, that's not why I tested you. Oh, Archie, <laughs> do you really think you're going to outmaneuver me? Yes. I want to talk about Nick Sinclair. You must have been thrilled too when you found out about the accident. It's gross. I mean, after White Nick did Veronica the night of his party. He what? didn't know. When he got physical with her, that happened to me. Might have happened to her. I am going to murder him. Archie, I genuinely thought you knew. It was Veronica's right to tell. Joaquin and I used to hang out. Mm. No, I talked about you all the time. You guys. Yes, you come with me. Which of you defaced our school seal with this graffiti? This is what they do, Principal Weatherby. They tag. Come control. on! My God, Reggie. Is Polly all right? Yeah, she is. And they are. Good. There's something else. Tony has a point. My dad soundproof this garage, son. We can't tell your father because he wouldn't support it. But I want to see him, Betty. I want to see my son. I know a lot of people are hitting on Dan doing it for a dad look, but let's call him dad. That's legit. Damn. He's taking a hard stance on that. I like the tinted red. Man. This is making me hate Hal so much. I know who you are. Your sisters gave me your dress when I turned 18. When they kicked me out. Yes? Got the feeling you probably didn't want somebody like me around. That's not true. You're my sister. Yeah. Yes. Well, you're lucky she wanted to keep you. It was all hell! It's Chick. But how would you know that? You know what? Chick. Forget it. Alice Cooper deserves better. You never stop being a serpent. I'm a serpent. He knows something. I don't care. I'm just curious. You know, it's weird. You come to Riverdale, act like a jackass, and the shark infested waters, he really is. Careful. The Veronica Lodge smells blood. She'll turn on you too. He deserves it. There's your classic jacket. <laughs> what the hell? I wanted money from Nick. And I thought Archie could convince him that reparations were in order. So she's being a good character. My only regret 
is that I betrayed your confidence, Veronica. And for that, I'm sorry. Damn, son. Cheryl! It's for moments like that! I appreciate yeah. her. I love how she's like, let go of my brother. Was blackmailing me. Pardon what? Blackmailing you? Oh, that's right. How? <laughs> On the night of the black hood, Cheryl saw. Oh my god. <sighs> Cheryl saw me and Betty kiss. What? <laughs> Kissed? We haven't talked about it since. I don't think either of us are ever going to talk about it again. Swords and serpents. <laughs> I've solved all problems, mommy. Aren't you glad? Your days of being a courtesan are over. She's not glad. Mommy, I said you can stop. Oh, but Cheryl. Now, why would I stop when I'm having such a good time? Oh my God! monster. He's upset, obviously, because yes. he was the one put up, given away, mm -hmm. because of the asshole Hal. Yes. He's still an asshole. I don't see any really any qualities about that asshole. My goodness. <laughs> just saying. Yes. So, uh, just like you theorized, Archie's going with the, that wasn't the Black Hood. <clears throat> That's awesome. And then Jughead's, uh, he definitely took up to that uh, serpent persona really quick, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now he's defending it like... It's everything, even though there's multiple episodes. He's like, I don't want to be a serpent! Yeah, so, I mean, that was kind of quick. But I get where he's coming from. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. <sighs> but yeah, uh, yeah, good Cheryl episode. Just since her mom stopped being a whore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, fantastic uh, development between... Veronica and Archie, really love that. Mm -hmm. So, um, altogether, a really good episode, honestly. Oh, yeah. Good to be back. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one.